Australia's recent bushfires, filmed not from a helicopter, but a drone, or UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle. These remarkable pictures show the drone swoop over a rural property as fire crews monitor the approaching flames. The aircraft also flies into the burnt-out wreckage of an industrial unit, giving a bird's-eye view of what the fires left behind. This is how a scenic railway looked before the devastating fires, and this is how the drone captured the damaged track and scorched earth afterwards. It's technology which the New South Wales Fire Service believes could become a useful tool in fighting bushfires. It's only giving us more advantage of actually working out what's going on with the fire and what's going on on our fire grounds. Particular spot fire or also the dangers or being able to look into the bush and for any cliff faces or anything like that. Look, yeah, it would be a, a, a definitely a consideration. Australia's far from alone in experimenting with drones, but here the number of qualified operators has trebled in the last couple of years. UAVs are used for everything from surveying buildings to filming sporting events. Military-style drones are monitoring illegal fishing off Australia's shores. Indoor-outdoor layout blends enhanced functionality with they're even being used to sell houses. It's very exciting times and it's only going from strength to strength. And, and the application for, for what we use, our, our, our UAVs, um, is ever growing. And many of our clients have actually come up with ideas and applications that even ourselves haven't thought of. The laws surrounding the use of drones are very strict. The operator has to keep it under 400 feet, can't fly it over populated areas and must always keep it in line of sight. But as we become more comfortable with the technology, well, the possibilities are endless. For example, an Australian company which delivers books is working on technology which might one day see courier drones dropping off parcels and surf lifesavers are considering using drones to patrol beaches. The future, it seems, is very much up in the air. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.